What's up you guys and welcome back. You probably ask yourself, well Jeremy, do you have anything else besides freshwater? I see these aquariums, these and these, and this, that, these, and you got your ponds, and you got all of this stuff, but do you have a saltwater tank? Well you guys, a simple answer to that is yes, I've had a saltwater tank for a bit now. Don't worry, I will never fully convert to a marine setup ever. Sorry, no disrespect to the saltwater folks. True, deep down in my heart, been in the freshwater game for so many years. It always holds a special place in my heart. I've bred so many species, invested so much time into freshwater through the years and just learning and growing and continuing to learn, to continue to establish and trying out new things that I'll never fully convert over to salt water i see a lot of people end up leaving one hobby and convert to the other i always scratch my head and i'm like why like equal opportunity these are all uh, beautiful creations and so forth that we have the honor and the privilege and the blessing to be able to keep within the home aquarius so i mean with that being said you can see here i got a couple of yellowtail damsels i'm just utilizing crushed coral in a lot of the freshwater setups in order to provide a good buffering component for the longevity of your systems as well as to provide the appropriate calcification and so forth uh, when you're breeding and you're housing certain species and so forth. So you can definitely check out previous videos um, that I've discussed when it comes to crushed coral. I got some bumblebee snails in there of course you can see um, working on uh, growing some some corals there um, and so forth but uh, this is not a permanent setup this is a temporary uh, it's about an eight gallon nano setup right now and I got the uh, the pincushion urchin which is right back there so let's go ahead and focus in on that so actually pick up a lot of stuff in their path I mean I've seen them carry snails around with them uh, they'll ca carry certain substrates. They may even come over and pick up a, a coral or something like that or a frag and end up carrying it around with them. So uh, they're quite intriguing, quite unique. But um, yeah, so I will eventually end up upgrading this and transitioning this uh, into probably a 20 long. Uh, but at this point, uh, this is environment uh, that they're going to be housed in for this period of time. So. Hopefully that um, that cleaner shrimp will end up um, uh, coming out here. Uh, hmm. I can see it in the back. And uh, what I was saying here, uh, this is probably about 15 pounds of um, Texas Holy Rock, which is more or less just a calcium rock. Or you can do a very low tech setup. But even with this particular setup. I do got to say, one of the downfalls of it is, and I don't want to discourage anybody, so as an added disclaimer, um, what I put into this tank uh, it is expensive. Um, there's a blue clog crab back there, or a red one. I got red and blue. So those guys are pretty cool as well. But yeah. I thought you guys would get some enjoyment out of that. Sorry, I wish the um, cleaner shrimp would come out so you guys could see it, but it is what it is. So until that, as always, stay encouraged. Keep on keeping on happy fishing, and we'll talk to you guys on the next one.